this afternoon. Middlesbrough play Liverpool, the league champions. We've got an international cast on view at Ayrton Park this afternoon. There's John Barnes, a scorer of a vital World Cup goal for England in Albania on Wednesday. Gary Gillespie with just one league game behind him since October, but he starred in Scotland's World Cup triumph against France. And Ronnie Whelan was at the heart of the Republic of Ireland's creditable draw in Hungary. In all, eight Liverpool players answered their country's call this week, while Middlesbrough's Stuart Ripley represented the England under-21s and responded with a goal also in Albania. Back into the Middlesbrough goal today comes Stephen Pears. It's basically the same very promising young side which was promoted last season. Just two additions this season, Mark Brennan from Ipswich in midfield and striker Peter Davenport at £700,000 from Manchester United. Liverpool haven't been injury-free all season and today Hanson, Rush, Mulvey and Benison are again ruled out along with David Burrows who picked up a stomach bug away with the England under-21 this week. Keith Thornton is the replacement. Today's referee is Gary Applin from Kendall. Well, we always endeavour to bring you even better coverage of English soccer, and today a new mobile camera. Appropriately, we put down our tracks here in the northeast, so close to the home of railway at Stockton and Darlington. Liverpool kick off, sporting their away strip of silver grey. Middlesbrough after sporting suntans because they've been away in Bermuda for a break. There was no league game for them a week ago because of the international preparations and they feel that's just the tonic that they need to take on the champions with Liverpool looking to make a late charge here over the last third of the season to try and retain their title. Brennan takes the game's first free kick and it's a goal kick. Peter Davenport played his first game for Middlesbrough in the away fixture against Liverpool back in November. Middlesbrough were beaten 3-0 at Anfield. Pairs missed four games, initially lost his place through injury, and then Kevin Poole played in the side. Ripley. Foot raised by Brennan, but not to the referee disliking. Aldridge, now bid, inside Pallister, looking for John Aldridge, and Cooper committed himself across, and Aldridge feels that he should have had a penalty. It was an unusual claim in a way, because it seemed that Aldridge had lost the ball initially. Sometimes those players, with their reactions, give the very best clue. You can spot those who really feel deep down that they've been wronged and Aldridge had that look about him then. Well, the ball was involved in the tangle as well and maybe that's why the referee ruled in Middlesbrough's favour. Well, Cooper possibly lucky then. Cup results in the week, good for the domestic game in England. Well, Ripley's got into the centre, that came off. Adlerton was so close to being an own goal. 
playing tricks then. And it was just on Adler's a little quicker than he expected. Came off the back of the head and just past the post. And this is Brennan's view of the corner. And Grobelard's catch was full of authority. just shoved Aldridge. There was speculation last season linking uh, Gary Pallister with a move to Liverpool. Minister very anxious to hang on to him. And they do have tremendous team spirit here with this generation of young players growing up together and climbing up the league together as well from the third to the first. on two and beat them. Aldridge, great touch for Beardsley. Miscued shot, then miscued by Cooper. Pairs rescued it for Middlesbrough. The eye-catching aspect of that Liverpool attack, the work of Barnes down the left, and then a delightful touch by Aldridge to set up Beardsley. But the goals really haven't been going in for Peter. And Barnes has run it away from Pallister. Aldridge up with him. Barnes goes the direct route and hit it straight but not very hard. At this stage last season, Liverpool had won 19 and drawn the other five of their 24 games. They're looking threatening with Beardsley and he's threaded it in. After 19 minutes, Peter Beardsley suddenly found himself away through the centre. Pairs came out, but the shot was very well angled just inside that far post. So Beardsley regaining some of his sharpness when it comes to tucking the ball away in front of goal. He's had such a barren run, a run that's really cost him his starting place in the England side. He was only used as a substitute again in Albania but back in his native northeast here he's turned the game for the moment Liverpool's way oh, the line's been flagging and Liverpool dropped off very quickly at the moment the ball was kicked Park Beardsley read the bounce better than Pallister. Help us there from Staunton and from Barnes. Houghton has made a terrific run from right to left. And Barnes used McMahon. Beardsley. Carrying and harassing tactics from Middlesbrough, but they can't get the ball. Whelan scuffed an attempted shot. McMahon does rather better. And that couldn't have been too far away. Steve McMahon still looking for his first league goal of the season, which is quite remarkable when you think he got nine last season in the first division. Some of them in that style. Ripley. This is more like it for Middlesbrough, but he was running into a very congested area with his head down. An interesting pass and a very good one too. Beardsley taking on Mowbray. He slipped in. Beardsley. It's 2-0. Followed in by Ray Houghton. Thirty-six minutes gone. Liverpool's superiority being confirmed here at this stage of the game. 
Beardsley having scored the first, setting up the second for Houghton. Slipping Mowbray, hit hard and low across. And Cooper and Houghton going for it together. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. who beat Middlesbrough 3-0 at Anfield back in November. That was comfortable, and it's comfortable so far here at Ayrton Park. By his own admission, Ray Houghton hasn't been at his very best for Liverpool in recent games, so he will appreciate getting on the score sheet today. Bruce Riach and Colin Tards will already be rehearsing, I'm sure, what they're going to say to their team at half-time. Barnes beaten by the bounce. Remember Middlesbrough going into this game with a very good home record. That's to be recalled when you evaluate Liverpool's first half performance, which has been full of authority. Barnes. Although Liverpool have had to play into a blustery win, they've offered a classy first 45 minutes here, embroidered by goals from Peter Beardsley, and Beardsley setting up the second for Ray Houghton. Middlesbrough with a great deal to do in the second half at Ayrton Park. At half-time, it's Middlesbrough nil, Liverpool 2. Well, Middlesbrough fired up from the dressing room, I'm sure to address their problems quickly in the second half. And if they could snatch a goal quickly, I just wonder as the match goes on whether the efforts of those World Cup wanderings from the Liverpool international stars in the midweek might stop them in the later stages. Perhaps Bruce Rioch will be hoping that will happen. But his team really needs to show more firepower. problem of an English winter but this has been an exceptional one the sun has shone the temperatures have been mild the football has gone on without any real interruption to the schedule and Liverpool are going on here like the Liverpool of old hasn't always been that way this season they've got 13 league games left after this one With Liverpool, they're quite capable of winning the lot. And what they do have over the run-in, of course, is plenty of experience of the pressures of chasing a championship. But here's Ripley, trying to change the picture here. And Garobola <laughs> with one of those one-handed efforts. Not quite the best he's ever done. He dropped on the ball, though. Once it had rolled from the grass. Here's Beardsley. And that would have ended any doubt. And the chasing work of Aldridge and then the uh, loss of bearing by Mowbray were factors there. away on holiday the way they're reveling in their task and putting the passes together again and Houghton the goalkeepers hesitated and Houghton could have done better again it wasn't an easy ball to hit running away from him bobbling on on a firm pitch but Pez was uncertain in his positional work and had Houghton connected cleanly 
he could well have made it 3-0. has come further forward from Beardsley. Nicol! Oh my word, it nearly went in! Houghton and Pez finally get the grasp on it. A touch of inspiration from Nicol in trying the shot to catch out the goalkeeper. He certainly did that. Hamilton. Nicol back defending. Brennan, Slaven, this is Parkinson, Middlesbrough do have a lot of players forward, but it's Liverpool's throw, well Steve Pears from Steve Nicholl was in great difficulties, an instant shot from Nicholl, with the wind at his back and how Middlesbrough should have done more of that in the first half and it was tucked onto the post by Pears after the fumble and then he plucked it from Houghton Paul Proudlock comes on for Mark Brennan Whelan Barnes that was delightfully waited to McMahon the Middlesbrough youngsters getting something of a lesson but not short of spirit Kerr finding Cooper through for them. You can't say the same though about Liverpool. They've been carving out chances at will. And this is one for Aldridge that he has taken just. So he extends this remarkable run, scoring in a seventh consecutive game for Liverpool. It looks as though he had too much time as Whelan played him through superbly. Pears held him up, locked it the first time. And off the post, and in fact in off Parkinson in the end. Middlesbrough feel that they... Uh, should have had a corner. Well, the identity of the scorer is a matter of interpretation there, really. I'm sure Aldridge will feel it's his 18th goal of the season. Well, Gary Parkinson was chasing back to try and stop Middlesbrough going three goals behind. And he's got in behind the goalkeeper. Well, it probably wouldn't have gone in without the touch of Parkinson. Whelan deflected off Pallister for a corner. They're so greedy at Liverpool for honours. It's meant as a compliment, put like that. And they're still greedy for goals here. 3 0 up away from home. McMahon. Hamilton, ahead of Cooper in the way. McMahon. Okay, showing too much of the ball to Whelan, but prepared to scrap for it. 
he does his money, Paul Kerr. Ripley, and look, and the ball with the shoulder. Ripley, oh and Gillespie decided not to go for it, inviting Grobola to make the move. He was just a little late to accept the invitation. But he arrived in time. Nasty ball in for the goalkeeper to deal with. Bruce Grobola hasn't been on a losing Liverpool side this season. And still Liverpool aren't satisfied. Pallister, that might well be a foul by Beardsley. But more than any one player, Peter Beardsley set the tone for Liverpool in the first half and his teammates were very quick to follow the example. Farm. Aldridge reversed it beautifully for Steve McMahon. Cornell. It's becoming something of a rout. It doesn't flatter Liverpool. They're worth the margin by which they lead. And who says that Aldridge is just a goal scorer? That was a terrific ball through. And McMahon bided his time and then planted it past Fairs. So McMahon does get his first first division goal of the season. And he's had to wait 11 months since his last goal in the league. Four in total this season, the other three, of course, in cup. Bar. It's all over, a thumping victory for Liverpool, really inspired at the outset by Peter Beardsley. He set up the second for Ray Houghton. John Aldridge came away claiming the third, although the final touch went in off the defender, Gary Parkinson, and Steve McMahon wrapped it up with number four right at the end. The biggest compliment really you can pay Liverpool is that their players have been all over Europe this week pulling for their countries in the World Cup but they've come back here and given a fresh performance that totally shattered Middlesbrough. A final score at Ayrton Park, Middlesbrough nil, Liverpool four.